I know, I know, I know. It may still be hot where you are, and trust me, it is blazing where I live. However, fall is vastly approaching, so let's talk about the top 10 fall trends I'm going to be participating in, and I think you should too. So let's get into it. Before we get started, my name is Brittany, and if you're new here, I focus on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. So if that seems like something that you may be interested in, please think about clicking on that subscribe button if you enjoy the content. Also, if you've been following me for a while, thank you so much, and make sure you click on that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my uploads. trend we're going to talk about are the chunky headbands. Now Prada made this a huge hit on the runway. I'm actually wearing one today. This one is very bedazzled, pretty busy. You don't have to go this bold, but Prada brought back that really thick satin headband. I love that one so much. They even have the logo one as well, but if you don't want to splurge on the trend, you can also go for the Zara option, which I have one here. They have a ton on the website, and I have a couple of cheaper alternatives as well. This one here is from Boo it is very thick, very Prada, white, and it's a, it's a statement. The next one I have is a braided velvet headband in black, and this one is from Shein, extremely affordable. I think this was about three bucks, so get your hands on this one if you want to try it out. And also, if you just want to get into headbands and you don't want to, you know, cause too much attention to you, just go for a nice thick satin headband. This one is a decent width. It's not too dramatic, but you can still inch into the trend if you want to try it out. And this one is from Forever 21. Keeping in line with hair accessories, bowls are super on trend for your hair. And I mean, how fitting pockets and bowls, duh. So I am loving this trend. It's like the nice big satin bowls. And I have not found the perfect one yet, but I'll be showing you guys some style inspo. I love them so much. I did see a few on Amazon. So if I can still find them, I'll link them down below. So the second trend that I'm loving this season are chunky bracelets you guys do you remember these like stacking bangles i am loving it so i've been seeing this all over instagram not so much on the runway however i'm a fan i think you should be too and these are from forever 21 i mean a huge steal so you can kind of just stack these up your arm or you can just wear like your simple stacks too they don't have to be really chunky I'm loving the chunky ones, but you can do like the Dior friendship bracelets along with some thin uh, gold bangles just to mix it up. Just get your nice little arm candy going. And no, this video is not sponsored by Forever 21, but hey, cut the check. <laughs> Now, since we're talking about bold jewelry, I'm gonna mention a few honorable mentions. And the next one are these chunky hoops, smaller chunky hoops. You guys know I'm a real big hoop girl. I love hoops. I don't care what the trend is, what the runway is doing. I always have on a pair of hoops, as you can see. However, we're moving into like the 80s and the 90s vibes with the chunkier hoops. Even the ones that have like intricate detailing, as long as they are like gold and chunky and kind of small. So I picked these up from Forever 21. Very cute, if I do say so myself. Extremely affordable. And last but not least, gold chokers. Mainly chain chokers. Chains are really huge. Um, and chokers were really big like a couple years ago, but they were more of like the 90s vibe, like the fabric chokers. These are a little bit more elegant, so we're leaning more towards the 80s vibe. So like think Chanel era with the big chunky gold um, you know, close to the neck necklaces. Very cute. I picked this one up at Forever 21. I wasn't quite ready to venture out into that just yet, but I thought this was a gorgeous little chain to add. It's a choker and I could just stack it up with some jewelry that I already have. So I think this was like $4. You really can't beat it with a stick. The third trend that you want to get your hands on are angular sunglasses. Here are my favorite pair. Got these from Forever 21 again, and they are so on trend, so gorgeous, so luxe. I love these. Um, I'll show a picture of me wearing these, you guys. You need a pair. I have these in black and white. They are amazing. 
Now, if you wanna go a little bit more high end, these are a pair of angular sunglasses from Chanel and they have the Chanel on the side here. These are really cute, a little bit small for my taste as far as the width, but they are definitely on trend with the angular lens and these have like a really nice gold lens as well. So very cute. And keeping in line with sunglasses, sunglass chains have made a comeback, you guys. I know it's not your librarian sunglass chain, even though she was fly too. These are super pretty this season. They have the pearl chains, they have the gold chains, like Chanel inspired chains. So you can always just dip into a little bit of a trend without spending too much money. So you can get these at like Nasty Gal, ASOS, whatever have you. I'll link a few below for you guys. On to number four. So the fourth trend you want to get into this fall are shoulder bags. Shoulder bags are really huge right now. I think it all started with like the Fendi baguette, you know, the little bag you can wear on your shoulder. Then of course, Dior has the gorgeous saddle bag with the CD on the side there that shows when you wear it on the shoulder. Loving shoulder bags. Of course, you can pick you up one from Zara, Forever 21, or even your local um, thrift store. Now, though this trend originated in the late 90s, early 2000s, it has trickled back into our lives and the high street and your forever 21s and Zara's and everything they already have them for you so if you don't want to invest in your Dior or your Fendi pick up one from them and I have so I have a couple to show you here so the first one I have is one from forever 21 I thought this bag was adorable it's very structured but it's a little shoulder bag and look how cute it looks it just sits real cute it has like some little detailing so i think they kind of went for like the dior vibe with this and i love it you guys know how much i love white white will never go out of style for me and it would never go out of season for me now this is my shoulder bag of choice that is a low end but you can pick you up a black one if you want to check out zara asos or forever 21 now i have an even cheaper option for you as you can see this is a gorgeous little shoulder bag and guess where i picked it up guys from the goodwill only $5.99 you can't beat it with a stick and look at the chain detailing on it I love the fact that it is like this um, embossed leather and it's real leather too you guys and it has this nice chain detailing so look how cute this looks when you throw it on your shoulder you get that detailing here and it's just really cute and dainty love it and it's also brown which brown is a really huge trend right now and last but not least, I have my designer option. Now, I found this gorgeous saddlebag from Dior. Um, and I got this on Poshmark, you guys, for an amazing deal. This is the mini saddle pochette, I want to say. And it does the job for me. Though I do love the original saddlebag, this one will do just fine for now. Um, and it's just like a cute little bag. So you can still throw this on your shoulder like that. And it looks really cute. And this chain detailing is just something that I added. It's my own. Now, keeping in line with handbags, I could not leave out the large quilted clutch. I've seen this done with many designers, Saint Laurent to name one, Old Celine, Bottega Veneta. They are killing it this season. Also, Margiela as well. And I actually found a dupe for the Margiela quilted clutch. And here it is, you guys. Guess where I got it? Forever 21 gorgeous 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 i picked this up for i think 12 dollars with an additional 30 percent off couldn't beat it with a stick had to grab it and it has like a little handle here it did come with a long strap just like the margilla clutch and you can carry it like this just like all the it girls if you want but i think you should definitely get into this trend a little bit i wouldn't say invest it probably won't last long i'm not a clutch girl but this one i couldn't pass up so check out forever 21 i'll link it below as well now the sixth trend that you wanna get into for fall are square toed shoes. You guys know I am a sucker for a good square toe. I think it just makes your foot look super cute, super sexy. Definitely a 90s, early 2000s trend, but it's back and it's better than ever. Bottega Veneta killed it with the quilted mule, you guys. I am obsessed. Been thinking about grabbing those, but I honestly don't think that they're gonna last throughout the season, just to be honest. They're so good though. But I do have a few pairs of um, square toed sandals that I'm loving, but square toe boots are in as well. And one of the pairs I wanna show you guys are these. So as you can see, these are like a muted 
orange so they can go for a neutral they have a nice square toe they're very strappy which i think are going to be huge for fall even though they were huge for summer um transitioning into the fall weather these will be gorgeous with like your suits and your like tapered pants and jeans and like i said very strappy they kind of wrap around the ankle and they have a nice mid heel some would say kitten but it's not quite a kitten heel so definitely get your hands on some square toed shoes they are everything zara has a dupe of course they're never off <laughs> and so many designers are doing the nice square toed heels so definitely get your hands on a pair whether you go high in or you just grab a fast fashion piece now that we've talked about shoes, let's move into boots. Now, of course, it's no surprise that boots are going to be a huge trend for fall and winter, of course. But this time, we're looking at chunkier boots and chunkier heels. Now, I may not get into this trend too much, but I'll definitely do my own version of it. And I already have a pair of... Um, kind of like a chunky heel boot. Now mine are single soled, which I prefer. I don't really care for a platform at the moment, but these I picked up last year, you guys, from Forever 21 on sale for like $8. Ridiculous, right? And they're like an almond toe, so they're really nice on trend. Um, even though if you wanted to do a square toed boot, that would be definitely very trendy, even though I don't think it'll last. But these are really cute. As you can see, they have that nice chunky heel. And another thing you'll notice is that these are just like kind of straight boots. They're not like skin tight to the calf or anything. They look really good with like longer skirts, pleated skirts and jeans. So definitely get into this chunky boot trend. So the next trend that you wanna be on the lookout for for fall are puff sleeves. Now puff sleeves are really big in summer too with like the milkmaid tops, but it's not going anywhere you guys. And I came prepared. I mean, look, I'm giving you a puff sleeve. I'm telling you, I came ready for the video. And I love a puff sleeve. The bigger, the better if you ask me. I am obsessed with puff sleeves. So you're gonna see this in your, in your t-shirts. You're gonna see it in your tops like this. You're gonna see it in your dresses, your blazers. I mean, puff sleeves galore. And like I said, the more dramatic, the better. So we're nearing the end. Are you still with me? The next trend you want to keep your eye out for is leather. Now, of course, we always see leather in the fall and winter, but this time it's leather everything. Loving leather myself. And the leather, I'm telling you, it's from head to toe. So you're going to have full on leather ensembles from your shirt to your pants to your boots all in one. Now, of course, those looks are more for the girls on the runway, the girls who just go to Instagram to take the pictures, you know, the bloggers, the influencers. But if you're an everyday girl and you want to incorporate that trend, you can do it as well just by choosing one piece of leather. So for me, I chose a leather top from Zara and it also has puff sleeves, which it's two trends in one, so I'm winning. And yeah, you guys, I think you'll love it. So definitely get into the leather trend. Now, last but not least, this one is going to be a triple threat, and it is the 10th trend, which are blazers. Blazers are always in. They never go out of style, right? However, these blazers are super structured, so you want to go for like menswear on this one. Super structured or either super slouchy, but then you want to go ahead and belt those up. So cinched waist blazers with the shoulder pads, it's everything. So I have a few belts that I like to cinch up my blazers with. The thicker belts are going to be on trend. You can even get your belted blazers. You know, they already come belted. And I picked up a few blazers from the thrift store just to give me that vibe because it already has the shoulder pad. It kind of comes in a little bit at my waist because it's a men's blazer and I can belt it with some of my fun belts that I already have. All right, you guys, so that concludes my trend talk. I hope you enjoyed the top 10 trends that I'll be getting into this fall. Let me know if you'll be getting into them as well. Leave me your favorites in the comment section down below. Check that description box. I'll have some options down there for you as well with links. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your favorite fashionista, and I'll talk to you on my next video. Bye, guys.